Okay everybody, how are you doing? Today we're going to look, take a look at this new figure that just came out, Ranma One Half Shampoo. So this is by SH Figure Arts, you can just see it right there, um, Bandai. And previously I reviewed the Ranma figure in this line, so this is the second one to come out. So let's just take a quick look at the packaging. Um, Shampoo's in there, but we'll look at her in a minute. So we've got some artwork with the figure. Ranma one half. Oh, what do we got there? Bandai, Tamashi Nations, Shop Pro. That's a sticker. I don't know if those. That's on all of them. Uh, 2016. On the side, there's shampoo serving up some nice ramen. S H figures. And on the back, we've got some good artwork from the uh, from the manga. And then just showing that she comes with a few faces and different hands and uh, accessories like that. And technical jibba jabba, in case you're interested. And on the other side, there's shampoo again, posing. So, I'm going to open this up and then we'll take a look at the figure. Be right back. Okay, we've got shampoo there, but before we completely take her out, let's just quickly take a look at what else was in the box. So, Ranma had this too. I think Ranma's was a bit different, but this is just a big purple background. I don't know if that's supposed to be used for anything, but I'll set that over there. And then here we've got the instructions. So, we got our sets of hands, and we've got showing how to switch out her faces put together her stand and her uh, other accessories, the, the ramen delivery box, ramen and her cat form. Let's check out her little ramen box. That's great. The little delivery package. I like that. And uh, it just slides into place. Cool. Nice silver paint on that. Next we'll pop out her ramen itself. That looks delicious. Oh, it comes with a little hole in the bottom. That should go right inside there. Perfect. Can make a delivery. Okay, this is her stand here. If you can see that, there's her, her little silhouette there. Ranma had the same thing. Nice. Uh, we've got two open hands. And uh, there's no fingernails or anything, but I think that's okay. Another set of open hands. So I think one of those is relaxed, and this one is to hold the ramen bowl or something like that. These uh, gripping hands. So maybe this is to hold on to the little ramen delivery box there. And we've also got this one, which is kind of interesting, where she's clasping her hands together. It's kind of neat, and those don't come apart. It's one piece. It's kind of creepy if you look at it that way, huh? So next we've got her cat form. Now the instructions said, yeah, that the head should move. It's cool. Nice, uh, nice coloring on there. They have like a gradient purple, and they painted the the bells on there. How close can I get, huh? There we go. She's got the little bells painted on, and nice. Uh, I guess they're printed eyes. And then, yeah, the head swivels. Over here we've got her heads. So let's see, this is a very peaceful shampoo. And I think this would go with the these kind of little praying hands. She's got a normal happy shampoo. She's got the purple eyebrows going on. Some uh, red eyeliner, looks like. And then we've got a very happy shampoo. Alright, so we've got... Relatively happy and extremely happy. Which I'm surprised they didn't give us an angry one, because let's face it, she's angry a lot in the show. Here's just for the uh, the stand. Pops into there. But I'm not going to bother with that right now. This is for the stand. This goes on the top just to clip onto her waist. Alright, and here is Shampoo herself. So she's size-wise about the same as Ranma, it would look like, a female Ranma. Yeah, oh, she's a little taller, maybe. Which I guess makes sense, because she's like a... kind of Amazon 
Chinese Amazon woman. Anyways, she's got her really long hair with some nice shading. Gets darker and lighter in there. Um, some little bells on her hair. There and there. The printed on face. Her head pops off pretty easy. Actually, I'll leave it on, but it just pops right up. There's a bit of glue there, which I think I could just take some tweezers and pull that off. It's already coming off, so no problem. But uh, they got the big hair balls, the hair buns. This is like a, her apron is like a rubbery separated piece. So it's like one, two, and then the bow, three pieces. But it's uh, quite soft, so it doesn't really get in the way of her her movements. If you want to get her in some kind of kung fu poses or something like that, she could do it. She's got her red pants and her little red shoes. I wonder if those are the same feet as Ranma. Uh, no, they're a little different, I think. They're cut just a little different at the heel. I think it's a weird choice that they gave her the apron. Because when I think of classic shampoo, uh, usually she's wearing this kind of red pants and top, no apron, and then kind of like a, a symbol on her chest. Or she's wearing like a Chinese dress. I, I don't blame them for going with the dress, but I would have preferred if they had gone with something else, her more traditional stuff. But this isn't like out of character or anything, so it's okay. Her head is pretty heavy because of all this hair which is uh, a little soft, not as soft as the dress itself. So for articulation, she's got a good range of head movement, front and back, side to side, all over the place. Um, she's also got a bit of a... I think she's got a joint up there and a joint down there, so she can really get some range. Her shoulders up like that, you can see the joints in there. Elbow She's got, does she have a forearm joint? No. So just a wrist joint. And then she's got all the multiple hands. Just under her chest there, she's got articulation, like a torso crunch. And in there, you can see her waist, which I think is pushed in all the way. So she's got kind of like a hip waist area too. She can twist, no problem. Uh, her legs, I think, I don't want to break it, but yeah, they can pull down a bit to get a bit extra range, I think. It's pretty high. It's not bad at all. Yeah. And then you can just kind of pop them back up if you want her standing normally, right? Her knees, yeah, they're pretty good. And then kind of awkward at the back like the Ranma, but I don't know, looks fine. Really clean from the front and if her legs are bent, it's not too bad. Except her pants are matte finish, and this is glossy, which is a little strange. But it's actually showing up as more of a different color on camera than in person. It blends together pretty well. She's got her normal ankle. Ooh, does that go front and back? Yeah, there it is. So it goes oh, almost all the way back. Goes up a little bit, and then an ankle rock, boop boop on both legs. Maybe we will take a look at changing out the faces and the hands, shall we? So to switch out her faces, let's just pop her head off. Oh my god. So you can see how that's going on in there, right? So we should just be able to pop her hair off, I think. Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, and I can get that bit of glue out too while we're at it. How about that? Her hair is a separate piece. And then we slide her face out. Now we've got this horrifying thing. Let's give her a peaceful face. And you can see you just slide that in. Slide the hair back on. Nice. You've got a peaceful shampoo. Now before I put her head back on, let's do her hands as well. Oh, if you wanted to see the back of her outfit, there you go. She's got a crossed over apron. Oh, that's a little soft too, actually. That's a separate piece. And then that's her uh, little bow. Let's do, since this is the peaceful face, we'll do those clasping hands because those are kind of cool looking. Just be really careful because these nubs are tiny, tiny, tiny. 
and uh, I think it's a good idea just to grab on right there to put a little pressure so those pieces don't split from each other. Put the head back on, you just slide it into that peg. Ooh, see that's almost splitting open right there. Gee, you gotta be careful there, huh? Okay, and that's better. Yeah, you gotta be really careful about that. These are so small and delicate, right? That's cool. Actually, maybe on the box art, I think that's supposed to be something like this. I don't know. Shall we try another one? We need these kind of soft hands. Okay, so I switched out her hand and her face, so let's give her the delivery box here. She can be kind of holding that up. And then also give her the ramen bowl. Yeah, there you go. That's not bad. It's going to fall off really easy, but that's not so bad. Hmm. Oh, and her hand just popped off. So, just so you can see, I, that's not broken, but it comes apart really easily. Um, and it's kind of a pain to get back together. So I would be careful. See, it goes together okay. Like, just be careful. So these are the, the two released so far. Next up, I think, is male Ranma, and hopefully, like, a Genma or something after that. I don't know. Okay, so that's it. That's the SH Figure Arts shampoo from Ranma 1 half. If you have any questions or anything about the figure, leave them in a comment below, and I'll do my best to help out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.